Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Mice is here, and uh, we are going to talk about in it. Well, I guess I'm going to talk about, and you're going to listen to, <laughs> and then we're going to do some problems together, probably in class. Um, or if you're watching this and you're not in my class, you're going to just do some problems. So we're looking at integration by parts here, and um, it's one of the first things here that we're hitting that we're actually in BC material, and so uh, it's another integration technique. Think of it as uh, backwards, backwards. Um, Product rule is basically what it is. Backwards product rule. So let's take a look first. Uh, how do we get the? How do we get it? And I'm just going to start with um, you know d dx is of u times v, which is a product. And if I'm doing that, I'm going to get u dv dx. If I'm doing it implicit, so I'm going to do implicit differentiation. Okay, uh, times v. That's a du, guys. All right, so the derivative of the first times the second plus the second times the the first. So I'm using product rule. Now, if I integrate both sides, sorry about that, d dx of u v, and I'm gonna I'm gonna integrate that with respect to dx. Integrate u d v dx with respect to dx, and integrate. Oops, integrate the other one. with respect to x. Zoom in here for you. All right, so now what happens here? Um, this is just the integral of a derivative. So I just get uv. And then the dx is here, notice, there, go away. So I get u dv plus dx is integral of v du. And really what we're interested in doing is finding the integral of u dv. So I'm going to subtract this part. I'm going to subtract this over. And I'm going to get the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. All right. Um, uv, uv minus v du. One way you can remember uh, what order these go in, uv is to, this is something I got from somebody, uh, ultraviolet. Think of a uh, think of the 70s, I guess, <laughs> or the 60s. Ultraviolet voodoo, man. Soak in ultraviolet voodoo, man. Ultraviolet UV voodoo, VDU, VDU, ultraviolet voodoo. Um, and there's a minus in there, and you can remember that formula. So UV minus integral of VDU. And we're always looking at um, taking one part, the u. One part is gonna we're gonna take a derivative of the other part. We're gonna take an antiderivative so we can find the v and we can find the du. All right, and I'll show you what that means in, as we go along. So that's the formula for um, for integration by parts. So here's the strategy, folks. You're going to let u be the part that's simpler. So you're gonna want the hardest part about this is really just determining what's u and what's v, or I'm sorry, what's u and what's dv. Because if you can figure that out, then the rest of it doesn't isn't too difficult. You just got to use a formula. Um, but figuring that out is, is sometimes a little tricky. So the best way to think about it is u needs to be the one whose derivative is simpler, or at least no more complicated than itself. And then dv needs to be the one that is more complicated or has an easier integration. Uh, something I picked up online is following this uh, L-I-A-T-E rule, uh, liate, 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 I don't know how you <laughs> want to pronounce that, but it is some rule in a, a, an order that you want to pick your U. Um, L would stand for logs. I is inverse trig. A is algebraic. Um, that's like a polynomial or an x or an x squared. T is trig. And E is exponential. Ooh, not E, not double E. That would be e exponential. Uh, <laughs> exponential. All right, if you follow this, you might, you, you'll be able... Now, the one that shows up first is what I'm saying. So whichever one shows up first. Shows up first is going to be your U. All right, in this order. So I'm going I'm to talk about that as I go along, and you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, so 
for let's look at exact example number one here we have the integral of x e to the x dx now one of the things that i remember learning uh when i was first learning integration in parts is it's one of those like last ditch effort type of um uh, techniques it's like what something you want to use kind of almost at the, at the if you can't find anything else to use um, but you can notice them because they are product rule type of things so um, if I was thinking about this guy again Liate or whatever it is um, there's no logs there's no inverse trig functions but algebraic we have got an algebraic and an exponential the algebraic one comes first so that's gonna be X then we take the derivative of that and the derivative of X is DX so dv is going to be my other my other one there so dv is going to be e to the x dx okay so this is going to be e this is going to be dv and this is going to be u so like we had up here right integration of u dv all right so then i'm going to integrate e to the x dx and v is going to give me e to the x Okay, okay, so now I've got ultraviolet voodoo, okay, ultraviolet voodoo, so I'm going to rewrite this now, u is x times v, which was e to the x, minus the integral of v, which was e to the x, du, which was dx, ultraviolet voodoo, okay, x e to the x, minus the integral of e to the x is e to the x plus c bam all right that's so that's how we use integration by parts let's take a look at a couple more examples here let's see if i can get through all these examples in my 15 minute allotment all right so example number two let's use a different color here how about we use a different color see this is taking me some time here okay so we want to find u and du and we want to find dv and v all right so l i a t e we've got an algebraic and then a trig and so what comes first algebraic comes first so that means u is going to be x du is going to be dx because we take the derivative of x dv is going to be this part here so sine of 3x dx and then we're going to integrate that so integrate sine of 3x dx is going to be um, negative antiderivative is going to be negative one third cosine 3x okay remember i have to use inverse chain rule there right or i'm sorry reverse chain rule okay so now we've got the integral is going to be ultraviolet voodoo all right so u v times negative one third cosine three x minus v is one third cosine three x du which is just dx all right so i'm going to get negative one third x cosine three x plus one third um, let's see I'm gonna have another third here when I multiply when I have that reverse chain rule and then the antiderivative cosine is sine plus C okay and there we go all right so again um, ultraviolet voodoo use liate liate or liat or whatever however you want to pronounce that I'm not quite sure how it was pronounced um, but that works out okay all right let's try another one here okay so now what happens if you only have you only have one thing in here right you don't have two you don't have like another value in there and we don't know arc sine so let's we don't know an integral for arc sine so uh we're going to go ahead and just figure this out here using integration by parts now what comes first logs inverse trig inverse trig came first and then algebraic well algebraic is also a one this is multiplied by one, right? So my u is gonna be arc sine of x. It follows that rule there. 
du is the derivative of arc sine. I know that. That's 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, dx. dv is going to be 1, which makes dx, I'm sorry, which makes v equal to x. All right, so we're going to change arc sine of x dx into ultraviolet voodoo. Oops. Ultraviolet voodoo. And so we're going to have uh, ultraviolet voodoo here. So uh, arc, arc sine of x times x minus the integral of 1 over... I'm sorry, V, 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 DU over square root of 1 minus X squared DX. Okay, so now that we turned it in there, now we got to figure this out here. We're going to have X arc sine of X minus. Um, so we've got an x squared in the bottom. If we take the derivative of that, that's going to be negative 2x, which means we're talking about a, um, let me rewrite this, x times 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. All right, so now we're doing a reverse chain rule. So what we're going to do is um, I need this to be a negative 2 there, which means I need a negative 1 half there. That'll allow me to do my uh, reverse chain rule. And I will have x, arc sine of x, plus 1 half. This is my hook. So then I'm going to multiply. Let's see, I'm going to have 1 minus x squared to the positive 1 half divided by 1 half plus c. All right, these guys are going to get rid of, and that's what I'll have as my answer. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to stop the video for now, and then I'm going to go ahead and do examples four, five, and six in another video. Um, I just want to make sure I have enough time, and the program that I use only gives me 15 minutes. So uh, hopefully that was good for you so that you can understand integration of parts, and I'll be back with the last three. One. Bye.